<laughs> the cats love bird watching, which is why we have the bird feeder right in front of the window. But occasionally there's a rare treat. Like this squirrel that just showed up. We and don't they... really get them. No, we really don't. It's kind of nice when that happens. And sometimes we have to either call the cats over or, or physically bring them so they understand, like, hey, there's something to see over here. <laughs> the body language of the cats is just really funny. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, is he down there? Is he climbing it? He's trying. Will he get it? I don't know. He's just getting all the stuff off the ground. That's the squirrel buster bird feeder. Yeah. I don't know if he can. Well, if he latches onto it, if he tries to jump up to it and latch onto it, it won't work. <laughs> He's like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, kitty cats. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Monday. Just heating up uh, some leftovers for lunch. We have plenty of leftovers of that pot roast, which is good because the pot roast was good. And uh, leftovers are good because then you don't have to spend a lot of time creating food. You just heat it up and then you're pretty much set. Um, not much to, to announce right this second. I've got a really interesting project I'm working on today. Um, hopefully I'll finish it today. And if so, I will talk more about it. I really need to finish it today. If it takes longer than today, I've worked on it too long. I tried so hard, but I could not quite finish the project I was working on today. But I got real close, real close. So close, in fact, that it will definitely be done tomorrow within like probably the first hour or so of the day after breakfast stream. All I really have to do is test it. And I mean, I've been testing it in chunks as I worked on it, but I haven't tested the whole thing start to finish to, to make sure it functions. And um, the chunks work, so hopefully, you know, front to back, the whole thing will work as, as one unit, but I have to test it tomorrow and see. But yeah, it's, uh, it's almost done. <laughs> what a little stinker. He likes that thing, though. He has oh. all four paws on it. I was gonna, I was gonna tell a quick story, because I thought that this was, um, fun. We'll call it fun. Uh, this evening for dinner, um, Mal and I just went to, uh, we went to IHOP actually, um, just real quick to grab dinner and come back and, and get a few more things done. And while we were there, there was a very funny event that happened and I thought it was worth telling. There was no one in that restaurant. I mean, nobody. When we went in, there was one other table in there. So we sat just two booths down from them and uh, it's always so quiet in there. Like it's just, for one, there's no people ever hardly in there at night. But then also, like, they, you have to, uh, squint is not the, the word for your ears, but strain. You have to strain to hear if they're playing any music at all. This is all relevant information. At some point, the, uh, the family that was sitting two booths behind us called their server over and said, could you please turn down the music? And like, I heard them say that, and I was thinking, what are they talking about? And it, and Mal heard it too, and she looked at me and we're like, what, what music? And we strained real hard and you can barely faintly hear some music that's, that's going on. And uh, the waitress was like, oh, um, Music? Uh, I mean, I, I'll see if we can adjust it. So she leaves and she goes to the kitchen. I can hear her talking to another coworker, and they're like, can we adjust the music? And he's like, the music? He's like, are we playing music? And then they sat there for a second. And they're like, I guess we're playing music. And uh, they go they go disappear for a minute. And then um, they come back and, and the, the woman says, um, so it looks like the music is on real low. Um, like it, it, it seems to be like barely audible. And the, the person who had complained said, well, do you hear the music? 
and the waitress was like, well, I, I, I guess I do hear something. And she goes, there's music. There's music playing. Why is the music so loud? And the, the waitress is like, huh. So she takes like two steps back and then she takes two steps forwards towards the table and she goes, that's weird. Takes two st steps back again and she says, the music is not loud right here. And the lady at the table's like, well, it's just blaring over our table. Where's the speaker? And she's like looking up at the speaker. So this whole time, Mal and I are just staring at each other like, what's going on? So the waitress disappears again, goes and gets the manager. And uh, the manager comes out and says, uh, we're, you know, we really apologize for the, the issue. We went ahead and just turned the music off completely. Again, who, the only people in there are them and me and Mal. So like, <laughs> might as well try and cater to 50%. To so uh, they said, thank you. And then he walks off. And as he walks off, the waitress comes up and they're like, we can still hear the music. And uh, she was like, ma'am, maybe it's, is, is there someone's like phone in a purse or something? No, no, all our phones are right here. Where is all that music coming from? Where is it? And me and Mal now are staring at each other like, oh my God, oh my God. So Mal actually speaks up and says, maybe someone like lost a phone. Like maybe someone lost a phone and they're trying to call it and that, that's what you're hearing. And then the one guy that was there goes, that's a, that's a great idea. Could be a phone. Could be a phone here. And I was like, might be under the table or something. Maybe someone's trying to call it because they lost their phone. And she goes, well, that could be it. So then they're like looking under the booth, under the table. Two other servers are trying to help look. They're looking in the section next to it, looking all around. This has been going on for like 10 to 15 minutes. And they're like, we, we can't find a phone, ma'am. We're, we're looking, we don't see a phone. What, what, and what, what is that music playing though? Suddenly, the woman goes, It's my watch! Oh my God! <laughs> ah! I wanted to scream. I wanted to strangle her. It wouldn't have been as bad if she wasn't so angry. She was so angry. Because like, we, I couldn't even hear the music that was on. And like, uh... I was like, why is she so angry over this music? And like, seriously, like restaurants play music. IHOP does too, but IHOP has always hit it so low that you can't even hear what, it, what they're playing. They've just always had it like that. And for her to continually just bring this up, like, the music's so loud, we can't even talk, it's so loud. And I'm just thinking, well, then figure it out. And then for at the end to be like, it's my watch. Oh my God, what? I mean, we all have our moments, right? Everyone's got a moment. I try to be empathetic and sympathetic and understand that every, everyone's gonna have a moment. But also, there exists some base level of intelligence necessary to understand that the sound that you are hearing is the watch on your wrist. Anyway, I thought that was a fun story. Because that one was a new one for me. That one was a new, for, new one for me. And despite how frustrating it was for me <laughs> to hear her say that, I knew that it would be an interesting story to tell in the vlog later, so I guess it worked out. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll finish that project tomorrow and talk all about it. Should be fun. Let's meet back tomorrow. Show. Man, he's just really got a death grip on <laughs> he that. He really loves this toy. He loves that toy. Take it.